This is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video I'm going to do a photo manipulation to create a ghost-like effect. Now this is not going to be so much a Halloween kind of ghost. It's not going to be scary. It's going to be more romantic, reflective, something a bit whimsical. However, you can take this kind of editing down any direction you prefer. We are going to be using the awesome power of the patch tool. And I'm going to start off just by getting rid of the previous edit. And we call up the patch tool which is under the spot healing brush. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to make a duplicate copy of the background. And then I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to make a selection around this woman. And with the patch tool you just drag to where you want the source to be. And in this case I want to replace the woman with the field and some blue sky. So I'm going to take it there, just making sure that the horizon connects up in at least one side. So I'm going to release. And that looks pretty okay. However, I need to do a few edits. And the most useful tool right now is the clone stamp tool. So I'm just going to work on this horizon here, just making sure that it looks a little bit better. You might notice there's, there's this shape here, which is also repeated here. That's a function of using the patch tool. I'm actually going to remove the original because I want to retain as much detail as possible in this end of the photograph. And the other thing is up here, I can see some colors there that I don't think really fit in with the sky. So I'm going to make another selection up here. Let me just make sure that I'm covering the right area. And it's around there. And I'm going to drag this off to a nice clear blue part of the sky. And I think that looks pretty, pretty convincing. That looks fine. So I'm going to call this new layer the patch layer. As we've used the, the patch tool on it. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And once again duplicate it. I'm going to choose color for the top layer and we'll call this the color layer. Now the thing about what I'm doing here is that I'm going down an edit which is possibly completely different from what you'd want to do. I'm going to go for color finish. If you want to do something a bit more scary you might want to go for black and white. So all these edits that I'm doing here are very specific to this particular project. So I'm going to go to the original patch layer and I'm going to reduce the opacity to 6 to 6 percent and we begin to get that ghost effect. I'm going to go to the advanced blending and here again it depends on the image but I'm just going to take the whites down and I'm going to go to the second layer, switch that on reduce the opacity there too to around 66% and here I'm going to work on the underlying layer just bring in some of those blacks so it's all very subjective and I'm happy with that, so I'm going to hit OK. Now, if I switch on the color layer, you'll see that we lose the woman into the background. She, she sort of fits into the background more than the foreground. And that helps to sell the ghost effect. I'm going to now create an adjustment layer, which is specific to Photoshop CS6. But you might be able to find something that works for Photoshop CS5 and other older versions. I'm going to choose the night from day 3D lookup table. And here I'm going to once again double click and in the advanced blending I'm going to bring out the whites and the light colors from the underlying layer. That looks cool. So what I'm going to do next is hit Control, Alt, Shift and E and then apply lens correction vignette. And that gives us our final image, a nice ghostly image, somewhat whimsical. You can tell that she's there, but transparent. Very easy to do using the patch tool in Photoshop CS6. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please leave a comment or rate the video. And perhaps subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.